بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد A beautiful hadith by Imam al-Sadiq teaching us how to be a true Ja'far how to be a true follower of Imam Abi Abdullah Ja'far bin Muhammad al-Sadiq and this is his will to the Shia and listen very carefully from the Sahih chain of Al-Kulayni from Abu Ali Al-Ash'ari and Muhammad bin Abd al-Jabbar wa, so now he's, he's saying there's another chain wa Muhammad bin Ismail and Fadl bin Shadhan jami'an so both chains narrate from Safwan bin Yahya and Usamata Zayd al-Shaham Sahih Sanad he says once Abu Abdullah said to me, convey greetings of peace from me to all. You will see of those who obey me and uphold my words. So those who take my words to be serious, those who respect me, those who obey me as the Imam. Tell them that I enjoin them to be pious before Allah the most majestic, the most holy. And to restrain yourselves from the worldly attractions in the matter of your religion. This is a Ja'fari, keep on listening. And ijtihad is for Allah. Allah is the one that gives us the hukum, not you, not anyone else. To maintain truthfulness in your words, keep your trust, perform long prostrations and to maintain good neighborly relations. This is what Muhammad has bought from Allah. This is what Nabi Al-A'lam Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam has taught us. This is Islam. Return the trust to those who have entrusted you, whether they are virtuous people or evildoers, no matter what. Even there's a hadith by Imam al-Sadiq, he says, even if it was the killer of Amir al mumni if my memory serves me right, I would have given him back that which he entrusted to me. Then the Imam continues, the Messenger of Allah would command to return the needle and the swing thread to that extent, even the needle. Maintain good relations with the people of your tribe and attend their funerals visit their sick people and fulfill your obligations towards them this is talking about family relations if one of you maintains restraint in the worldly attractions in the matters of his religion is truthful in his words keeps his trust has acquired proper moral discipline to behave towards people it will be said to him listen to the words allahu akbar Allahu Akbar This is a Ja'fari So he's saying if you do all of these things The people will say This is a Ja'fari Because they knew what Imam al-Sadiq was like And it will bring joy To me And delight And they will say This is the discipline of Ja'far Allahu Akbar Ya Shia this shows us that if you are one of them people, you're a lover of Ahl al-Bayt but you are still committing sins openly, publicly, try to refrain from putting yourself out there that I am a Ja'far because you're putting the Imam down. You're representing the Imam in the wrong way, my brothers and sisters. Understand that. He says, this is the discipline of Ja'far. Allahu Akbar This makes you a Ja'fari If otherwise It's misfortune and disgrace Will trouble me And they will say This is the behavior of Ja'far Allahu Akbar To that extent The Imam is talking about these matters That he's saying don't do that Because they will say look These are the followers of Ja'far this is the behavior of Jaffa because we are a reflection of the Imam and we have to reflect the correct light. 
We have to be a good reflection, my brothers and sisters. By Allah, my father spoke to me about a man who lived with a tribe who were from the Shia of Ali, whose beauty was in keeping his trust, fulfilling his obligations and being the most truthful in his words. With him, they would keep their important documents and valuables. If one were to ask peop the people of the tribe about him, they would ask, who is like him? He is the most trusted one in safekeeping of our valuables and the most truthful in his words. Why? Because a Shia should always be known to be someone that is always trustworthy, always safeguarding the people's secrets, valuables and everything. So be careful, let us be careful when we Say we are Ja'fariya. No, don't do that because the Imam will be upset. Because then like that you're, you're misrepresenting the Imam. And some people will be like, look, this is what the Shia are like. So we must represent the Imams in the correct manner. And if you are someone that is struggling with sins publicly, then maybe refrain yourself from being trying to be someone that is trying to represent the Imam for the time being. Until inshallah you fix yourself and get in the swing of things and become someone that pleases the Imam publicly and in private inshallah. So this is how to become a Ja'fari. This is what Imam al-Sadiq wanted from us. The pioneer, the scholar. And when I say scholar, I'm not just talking normal scholar. No, I don't, I don't like that statement. No, divine scholar. The one that was give, given the ilm al the divine knowledge, the Imam that was chosen by Allah. This is the Imam. You want to become a Ja'fari? Remember these words. You want to become a Ja'fari? Remember this hadith. You can find it in al kafi Sharif in the last chapter. In the chapter of social manners. Remember this hadith, inshaAllah. Hada wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين